We're going to cross over to South Africa, uh, where we know that their case has reached 3,635 and they've recorded 65 deaths. Now, their president, um, His Excellency Sir Rama, uh, Ramaphosa, uh, he declared a national disaster at a point in time. Now, they're under lockdown, schools are closed, churches are not allowed to operate. There are lots of things that are happening. And of course, industry persons in there as well are also deeply affected. And so we'll be speaking to a videographer and photographer who tell us what life has been like in South Africa since the advent of coronavirus. He's Jordan. Good morning. Hi, Bella. How are you? Uh, I, can't... I know you can't see me, but it's fine. It's good to have you in Ghana on TV as well. Reunion, right? But tell me, yeah. how, how has it's South Africa definitely... been since the pandemic? Uh... You know, I think uh, our government is really taking control of this. Um, everyone has been abiding to the lockdown for the most part. Uh, it's been it's been difficult. Uh, on on our second day, our oven broke, and mm. a week later, our uh, microwave broke. So even eating has been a little difficult. Uh, but it's okay. It's not. It's not. Um, it's not difficult. Yeah. But generally, I mean, the entire country, what's the feeling like? How are people managing? Um, I think, generally speaking, people are, there are, they are frustrated, mm. but I think a lot of them understand. Um, I think as frustrated as they are, our government is making the right decisions. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, they, 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 the one thing I have been hearing is the, for us, we've had a ban on alcohol and on cigarettes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, people are, people are starting to, to, um, make I their think own. That's probably, that's, that's quite a big struggle. Yeah. It is for a lot of people in South Africa as well. Okay. Yeah. But you, you guys have been on lockdown and it looks like the lockdown is going to last until the 30th of April. But at the same time, I do understand that there are people who are still going out, trying to fend for themselves, trying to work and all of that. Is there a situation where, um, you know, the, the government is deploying more security personnel just to ensure that people stay at home? And, and what, what's led to this? You know, from what I've been seeing, uh, I don't think, you know, there's, there's been small incidents where perhaps... Um, smaller communities are not listening to 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 the rules uh and so police probably have been deployed into the smaller communities yeah but on the large scale um i don't think people are taking chances i think uh i think the government has made it very clear that they won't tolerate um any um any uh breaking of the rules okay yeah yeah they might have there was an incident in the beginning where um, some surfers had gone to the beach and the police, uh, the police took them to jail. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure how that sto story continued, but that but, was... But you are was... a videographer. I mean, you thrive on traveling, taking videos, pictures, and all of that. When was the last time you actively worked? Uh... So my, my line of work, I'm a, an event and festival photographer. So um, I deal primarily with crowds. Uh, so when the government got its first case of corona, um, they started off with a ban on no groups larger than 100. Uh, and so when that happened, that immediately um, canceled about three of, my, three of my events that were going to be coming up at the end of the month. Hmm. Um, so yeah, it's it's this is this is directly affecting um, my line of work. Um, I was fortunate enough that I work with um, L'Oreal here in South Africa, and they're producing some hand sanitizer that they're giving away for free. So I got a permit to work um, and document that story. Okay, so, so just getting yeah, uh, getting house and um, creating something. Uh, yeah. What, what happens yeah, if the lockdown is extended? Because the numbers are still going high. I mean, between South Africa and Egypt, one minute Egypt is on top, the next minute South Africa is on top. So these two countries seem to have the highest numbers. And so the conversation is that the lockdown may still be extended, even though it's affecting the economy. How are you going to manage yes. if that happens? 
Uh, I'm really hoping that uh, I have laid a good enough foundation in terms of my work to continue. Um, but for the others who haven't, I think it's going to be difficult. Uh, you know, we, we are in, again, I'm in contact with artists um, and a few celebrities. And a lot of these artists, um, musicians, for example, um, they are probably more affected than I am because they are, you know, they, they need crowds in order to make money. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, if it's extended, uh, it's going to be a struggle. It will definitely um, be think, a struggle. Yeah, from, from the 30th, they plan on, from the 30th, they plan on, I think it's a phased reopening. Mm. Um, so maybe we'll, they will open it, they will open this lockdown. Um, okay. In the, yeah, partially Hopefully. open it. Okay. Well, we, we hope that things get better for you um, eventually and you need to stay safe as well. I hope that when you step out, you have your face mask and everything else to protect yes. you from the virus. Yeah? yeah. All right. So we wish yeah. you luck and thank you so much for speaking to us, Jordan. And yes, he's an events organizer and also a videographer in South Africa, who, by the way, again, have recorded um, 3,635 3, cases with 65 deaths. And South Africa would be the second because at, the, at this point, Egypt has recorded 3,659 cases. So anyway.